Hello Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. Uh, I'm here to do your March tarot reading. I want to say happy birthday uh, for those of you that celebrate your birthday in March, at the end of March there, the last 10, 11 days or so. Ooh. So I'm going to put your energy in here, Aries. Aries, what is the message for Aries for March 2022? Aries, I can see you. I can see a woman, um, perhaps a red-haired woman. Here. Uh, she wears really red lipstick like mine. <clears throat> Tell me what Aries needs to know. You can see the dogs in the background behind me. They're ready to cut. Denji, stop that. Making all that noise. Hey! No. Oh, what a bugger. So let's see what we have for you. I'm going to turn those cards over right shortly. Uh, so we have the lovers in the present focus position with the hangman uh, as your challenge. The nine of swords crowning you. The three of swords in the foundation. The shadow is in the recent past, which is the devil. And the ace of pentacles, shields is in your immediate future eight of swords queen of wands there you are aries king of swords and the chariot how interesting it already looks like a story to me i gotta tell you first i want to see these two cards that kind of presented themselves so we have the Two of cauldrons with, I think that's the eight. Yeah, the eight of pentacles or the eight of shields. Genji, give me that right now. That's making too much noise. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So this looks like a partnership. This could be a romantic partnership, a, um, a relationship you're currently in, where you have put a lot of time and energy into. Uh, you could have passed down teachings or um, property, you know, money. Guys. Stop. Just a sec. I'm going to pause this for a second. My apologies. I just had to have a little talk with them and I said, no more. Genji, don't start. So, um, you could have built a family together. Um, there could have been um, property or something that has been passed down here. The Eight of Pentacles is like a lot of work and time that you've put in and energy and and continue to put in. You know, this is going on to the next generation. You could be grandparents together. I see three generations here um, or parents. Other uh, Anyway, I can see something that has a lot of investment, time, energy, perhaps even money investment invested okay so coincidentally enough in your current energy you have the lovers the lovers is a choice sometimes in this card it's a commitment you know it's looking each other in the eye and making a commitment before god before the universe that um you're going to commit to this in for the long term down the road sometimes your choices could have an effect could have a ripple effect you could have a choice between two people here or more than one um, but you also could be engaging in a romantic 
relationship and making a commitment. Or feeling committed, you know, feeling committed. Um, then you have the hangman as your challenge. And the hangman is a challenge, you know. It's the desire or need to see a new perspective. Perhaps you're seeing a new perspective at this time. And you've been in this commitment for a long time, perhaps. And you want freedom now. You want to be out in the open fields and not paused because this is a pause it could be reflection needing to see things in a different light a new perspective also it could be shedding old beliefs traditions um and to to be open to new ones you know you know i want to say that relationships aren't what they used to be anymore Commitment nowadays means five years. It doesn't mean a lifetime. And so people change their minds. Um, they change their minds after, uh, you know, even after you've said the words, okay? Someone could be changing their mind, possibly. Um crowning you you have the nine of swords the nine of swords is you know worries anxieties um you, uh, you know perhaps bad dreams you know this could be over love loss of love um and and look at all of the hearts here or roses there's nine roses and nine swords so um the, uh, it's a love hate thing you know what I mean? It's a love-hate thing. And it's torment could be tormenting you. Could be tormenting you at night, you know, um, or when you're alone. But all of the minor arcana are are minor, just that. They 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 come and they go. So it could have been um it could be over a moon, like a full moon time. It it bothers you more than other times um and the foundation is the three of swords there's been hurt deceit lies perhaps something some sort of deception has gone on usually in the lover's card there are a few people to choose from and um and when we choose one someone else gets hurt you know, this is the problem. And this is might be why you need to reflect quite a bit and pause to decide, you know. So anyway, uh, this is hurt. You know, this is broken heart. And, um, but it's done. You know, it's done. In the recent past, you have the shadow. This is the devil energy. Uh, this person or yourself could have been tempted by lust. You could have been drawn into this world or into another person. You know, it could have been through drugs, alcohol, gambling. It could be a person, sexual desire. Um, but it's sometimes we use these things as a coping mechanism to, to deal with some sort of unhappiness in our lives, you know. But uh, it shows the devil energy in the recent past. Temptation. Coming into the immediate future. This is probably, it could be within the first week of March. Or, um, yeah, I would say within the first week of March sometime. The, this is the Ace of Shields. This is an opportunity. This opportunity, you know, you see this crown floating in the air? That you could reach this level. It could take you to there where you are running the show. You reach the top of the mountain and achieve, the, you know, like get by the challenges and the obstacles. And it has so, it has that much potential. You know, you can see that it has that much potential. 
I want you to take note of the three legs on the table. This isn't a four-legged table. And there's also three lanterns, okay? So threes are, it needs to be activated. Ideas are great, but are you going to take action on this? You know, it's not exactly stable yet because there isn't a plan. So the you have the idea, but now you need to formulate a plan to stabilize this whole idea and to get it on the road to succeeding. That is cool. This is a good opportunity. This could be um, this could be a job opportunity. Um, it's the Ace of Shields is about healing too. So this could be beginning of a healing journey for you. Not exactly stable right now. But you're learning and you'll be planning and moving, growing here, growing, okay? In the present moment, you have the Eight of Swords. Makes sense with the rest of the reading. This is a difficult situation that you don't feel like you can see your way out of. There's also a refusal to act, to communicate, to see um, the, the, you know, like if she just simply steps forward, she can be out of this mind trap and it is a mind trap. Okay. It's in your head. There is a way out and it's healing. You know, you see one of these is the medical sign for healing and, um, and she's wearing this very light purple. And that's the beginning of spiritual enrichment, but is not wanting to see, like kind of refusing to see that right now. It's not, um, it's hard. It's hard to see it for some reason. What's wonderful about this so far is that March, of course, is the birth of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. <clears throat> and this is when we can birth new ideas, um, open our lives to something new here, you know, and this totally makes sense. And of course, when it's new, it's not completely stable yet. We're just figuring it out, you know, um, in your exterior influences, this is how others are seeing you or influencing you. And this is the queen of wands. This person could, well, this is you, actually. They're seeing you as the Queen of Wands. They're seeing you feeling more powerful. You're starting to feel more powerful. Get your groove back. There's still some vulnerability. See, it's a kitten, not a full grown cat. So there's still some vulnerability. You could be feeling more playful at this time. You're really ready to begin new growth ready to expand those sunflowers, spread seeds all over the place. You're ready to give again. You know, she's got the beautiful uh, golden blanket around her, which is the sun. And, um, uh, and her, all the passion. And she's uh, teaching, training her baby dragon. You know, that's part of the sharing, giving part. Um, so you could also be training yourself in something here. That's why there's the kitten and the baby dragging. You could be training yourself. You also could, um, I feel like there's this really strong side of you, Aries. And yet a, a, a very vulnerable, playful side of you as well. But you're, there's a, this vulnerable and this baby dragon is your training, you're learning again, you're learning. In your expectations or what you don't expect is the king of swords. 
This could be an air sign around you, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You could really connect with this person. Um, you, you know, this could be the person that right now you have, you have something to think about, something to consider. Uh, this person might be providing you with an op opportunity here. Um, I feel like they open your mind. This is what I feel like. You really like talking with this person because of, it's very mentally stimulating. You're probably thinking about this person a lot or they are you. Okay. I have a feeling. You may not be expecting this person to come around. You know, this position is the expectation or what you don't expect. And I have a feeling you may not be expecting it exactly because I don't think you're exactly focused on looking for a relationship or, um, you know, you're, you're distracted in your head. But along comes someone or you're in this energy where you get a lot of clarity you know you can see like everything grows under the sun okay the sun's light hit hits you know most everything it gives you vitamin d and it's about expansion this one's about expanding the mind you know, expanding the mind, being open to other ideas and all ideas, as a matter of fact, considering them all, you know. Um, and this king also uh, takes that information and shares it, you know, uh, uh, passes it on. But I feel like you've made some sort of connection. This person could be your opposite in a lot of ways. Here is the chariot, you know, and here's these two dragons and they are opposite. I also think this person could be a wonderful distraction and might turn into something magical. All of a sudden things take off. Things start to happen. You're being pulled in directions. You're just like, what is going on? This is very swift energy. Something takes off here. Okay. And it could be this new person for you. Uh, well, it's, I definitely think it's a new person for you, but I think they're your opposite. You may go traveling together with this person. You may meet them while you're traveling, you know, while you're out getting away for a while, getting away from it all and need a distraction and from everything. And then, whoop, alakazam, you meet Mr you know, Libra, you meet a Libra. It's a bit, you know, especially with these two here, eh? You could meet a Libra. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe. So let's see what else we have here for you. To get these for a little bit of clarity, but this is the mythic tarot. The ones I was using here are the Celtic tarot. And this is the mythic tarot. I love them because they're both historic you know they're from an era in time in the world tell me for aries what do they need to know in march what do they need to know in march about this big new adventure you're 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 thinking about you know you got something on your mind now you're thinking and this is about possibilities you, you can see where something will go. Okay, let's see. Oh, King of Cups. Could be a water sign coming around you. This person is very nice, helpful. It looks like it could be a Cancer in this situation. Uh, but it could be a Pisces or Scorpio. Uh, this person is very spiritual, very emotional, probably sensitive, but a little bit withdrawn, detached, not exactly all in, you know. Sometimes this person wants you to come to them, you to do it, you to say it. And they, although they feel it and they're all in, they're not giving that, you know what I mean? Sometimes that's that. 
Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, this is saying all in, but it also is the Ten of Cups. It could be the end of a relationship that you had with a water sign. And now you're looking at an air sign. Now, this is possibly a Libra. This is possibly a Cancer here. I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be. Could be, like I said. But it looks like this has come to an end, a conclusion. You know, you could have been together with a long time for a long time for this with this person. And you could have experienced a lot of success with this person. Happy for a long time, but it's over. It's over. At, at some point, it could have felt like a prison for you. Um, not, you know, it, it's it not a prison i don't want to necessarily say that you could have felt confined in this responsibility relationship um this commitment and wanting to be free of it wanted something new not necessarily you're after another person it's you know it smells of it here i gotta tell you i gotta be honest with you aries it smells of it big time it doesn't have to be you could be on a new adventure of healing and also of building um investing and in healing and investing in yourself so um the tower allows you to do it it frees you from this situation this commitment here with this person okay so last card I'm going to take for you something that doesn't seem like a blessing at the time turns out to be a blessing for you it actually frees you at first you're you're scared of it you're like oh my god and what's happened and you're freaked out but it, it actually frees you from something that you didn't know you were even imprisoned you were even confined you didn't realize it um also it, it could talk about what's going on in the world right now and being freed from our confines as well not stuck at home you know with the family 24 7 and going cuckoo for cocoa puffs healing family issues <laughs> how did i pick that healing family issues you know and that's what that um ace of pentacles could mean too because it is healing it's not stable right now but there is a lot of potential you know uh for growth and so healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents is there another one in here for you <laughs> what a coincidence well there's family all over this reading too remember i talked about the generations what you've invested um and, and and it seems like someone's standing alone there still investing in it right but there's something new on the horizon aries hmm. so the family issues could have something to do with codependency okay addictions are affecting your romantic life and that was suspected back here with the devil being pulled away pulled into a world of darkness where it's whatever the addiction happens to be you know there's lots of them take your pick um but this is um, could be really upsetting your marriage, your relationship, the family, even, you know. So, um, yeah, it says there's some healing that needs to happen here. Someone needs to see that there is a way out of this, that there is healing available. You know, there is a way. Right now, they're thinking that they don't want it. They want, I don't want to see it. I don't see that way out of this. I can't see it. 
but seriously honestly like you know and but i think this is gonna turn around for you you could go away to a balance you know there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of a bad side or a little bit a glass of wine every now and then or some people can't they can't have any they just got to give it up for their greater good for their greater good right you have the hanged man here there's something that you need to give up that you need to sacrifice for your greater good this could be actual treatment you know it's a pause in your life it's healing there's you know seeing the way seeing the way and when you do you're able to balance these two sides of yourself neither one is in total control you know we we all have the angel and the devil right you know and as long as we don't listen to the devil all the time <laughs> we're okay because there's a balance there you know there's a kind of a balance there so you know what i'm just saying so anyway Aries I hope this helps you on your path in March and I want to say happy St. Patrick's Day to any of you Irish folk out there or anyone who likes to celebrate that holiday and uh, yeah take care I'll talk to you soon oh if you'd like to reach me for a personal reading you can at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com anyway love your bunches take care